Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Xbox One. Xbox is about to become the next water cooler. Hey there, everybody. This is Guitarist. And this is Gears of the Dead. This is episode 9 of Not So Family Gaming. Today we have just one topic to talk about. Just one topic. For once, it's only one topic. I think you know what we're talking about when we say there's only one topic. We're talking about the HTC One, the new cell phone. <laughs> that, is, that is goddamn hysterical. You are so funny. I love it. But really, we're talking about the new Xbox One. The original Xbox? The first one? What the fuck is that? What is it with the name? I okay. guess it's kind what? of saying no, like... No, no, no. There is no saying, Oh, it's like one because it's number one. <laughs> no. No, it's like... Xbox One is the first Xbox that has ever come out. They're saying one because it's like, it's all in one. TV, video games, internet. No, no, no. You can't, you just can't do that. You can't go backwards in time when you've gone to 360. Oh shit, man, I missed the other 359 Xbox games that came out. <laughs> what is that? What is that? It's not, it doesn't make sense. They're going backwards. It just doesn't make sense. Is that, I don't already, just, what are you doing? What are you guys doing? It's not right. It was definitely a shock to me. I thought that was really a, Xbox like, One. Because all the rumors were like, it's going, like, it was codenamed Durango, so that could have been one. Xbox 720, which, every, that was like the biggest one people were looking for. I mean, if you're not even going to go in the right order of numbers, just be like, it's the Xbox. Xbox. The, it's Xbox. Super duper. Xbox. Penis! I don't care! Just... So that's the one That's, that's one thing that just makes me angry. Xbox One, um, back in time. I would have liked it better because one of the rumored names were, uh, were Xbox Infinity, and that would have been better that's, than one. See? That would that would have been... That's so much better! Why didn't they use it? Because it's all in one! No. Anyway, so let's talk more about this. Specifically, I'm sure some people have seen the entire reveal for it. Some people have seen the highlights. Some people have just seen or heard a couple of things. We're going to fill you in on the general basis of things that you should know that are important and the things that are just kind of weird and eh. Uh, the first thing is that the new look, it looks just like a cable box. It's just a, a VCR, okay, it's just a square, black. It's pretty much a cable box with that plays video games, pretty much. Exactly. Because at the reveal, they put a huge emphasis on TV, on live TV, on TV series, TV, on like, TV, TV. They kept. They TV, were like TV, 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 TV. Because like they were like, oh, we have a thing with NFL. We have this. It's gonna be the new thing. It's yeah, like I kind of get it. They're like, we want this to be the all-around good console, and in a way, if they People who want something like that, that want to watch live TV, who want to browse internet, who want to watch a movie and Skype at the same time, that's cool for you. It's probably like one of the best things you've ever heard. But for a gamer like me, I was really depressed because they didn't really talk about any games. They talked about like yeah. four games, and the one that I was really like that looked interesting for me, Quantum Break. I have no idea what it is. I like some people told me it was a sequel to a different game. I don't know if it actually is. But they gave me nothing in the trailer. Is it a puzzle game? Is it an RPG? Is it a shooter? I don't know. It looks interesting, but not enough for me to actually be like, hmm, I'm, I might get the Xbox One. Basically, their just big emphasis was on all of their sports games by EA and Forza Motorsport. And of course, at the end, they were like, oh, here's Call of Duty. However, obviously, Call of Duty is going to come out. It's not exclusive to Xbox. So they're trying to make a big deal out of it by saying, hey, guys, look at this. You're going to get the map packs a month before PS4. Isn't that fun? Ha, 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 ha. Ah. They've been doing that anyway. Exactly. Like, they, have, they, I mean, they don't have that much special going on just because they're Xbox One. So. I, uh, they, they were saying we have, they have 15 exclusive games and 8 are actually new, new games, new series and stuff like that. Uh, and I guess they're waiting for E3 to show them off because when they when they first said that they were like we have 15 exclusive games to show you, and they didn't show them, I was kind of like oh, well okay exactly you, like I was like I guess I guess they're because they did like they, later on they were like we'll show you them in the next couple weeks 
at E3. So I was like, but still, PS4. Yeah. PS4 hasn't even done its reveal yet, and it's already put out games that they're gonna have. Yeah. With Watch Dogs and. Yeah, uh, they didn't even reveal like you're saying what it looks like. And I'm already and more excited. Yes. What it like? Of course, exactly, exactly. Because, like you were saying earlier, it looks like a VCR. Exactly. Yeah. What what their what their reasoning is is that oh look at these sleek sharp edges, man. Look yeah. at this box. It's be great with your home decor. What if your home decor is goddamn circles? Then you're fucked. So, okay. <laughs> and, and sure, it looks modern, maybe kind of you know coolish. But when you look at it, really. You made just a cable box, a rectangle. You have made a black rectangle with like a line in it for you to put your games in. When they were like telling me about live TV, and they were like, you can get it with Xfinity, Comcast, and I was like, okay, that's kind of cool. Um, it might be like if you're just using your internet, because it's always on with internet. Like, and what they were saying, the console has to be on at least one but this hour wasn't, a day. This wasn't in. It wasn't in the, the reveal. actual reveal. It was in it was interviews. questions. And interviews, like interviews afterwards. afterwards, yeah. Um, and they were like, it has to like be on an hour a day. And I was like, well, why? It had, they, that, they didn't really say why, it's just got to be on an hour a day. And I was like, well, some days I don't play my Xbox. Some days I just I hang out with my friends and play their Xbox. So That's funny, you could have made the joke that you have friends that you do things with. However, you went ahead and said, I go to their house and play their Xbox, because I'm an Xbox slut. Yeah. Because of this reveal... You don't help yourself. No, I don't. But because of this reveal, I'm going to go for the PS4. Like, there's no chance I'm ever going to buy an Xbox One. I have been a hardcore Xbox fan for years. I have defended Xbox against all the PS4 3 guys that were just like, Hey, man, PS3 is too much better, man. Why get an Xbox? <laughs> And I would always just be like, no, man, the Xbox is way better. And of course, I would lose half the time because the PS3 was better. And I didn't see it because I was blind. But now, I see. Ha! And the point is, after all of these years of just being dedicated to Xbox, they fucked up. I'm gone. I can't do it. I can't do it anymore. Along with the fact that now, you cannot buy used games unless you want to pay an extra fee on top of it yeah, that's to, to play them. That's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Like what I was reading, they were saying if you want to get a used game and you put it in, what they were pointing towards was like if you buy your game ten dollars, you put it in. Well, you're gonna have to pay sixty bucks for the for the fee, and it's like, well, I just pay seventy bucks for a game that I, I'm guessing might be good. Like that's what I do when I go to GameStop. I'm like, okay, let me get some cheap games that might be good, and. If I have to pay full price for it, well, I don't you don't. Want to. You might not have to pay well, full price, yeah. but but still, like paying, paying extra a fee, fee is kind on of top stupid. of it. Yeah. Does that mean that the games will stay the same, and then you have to pay the extra fee, or are the games gonna have to shoot down some in price be, to make up for the fee that you're gonna have to pay anyway? However, because GameStop and game and game places like that will probably not want to lose profit, they'll keep the used game the same price, and because they're gonna be Xbox One games, they're gonna be probably higher along with the fee that you'll have to pay for it. So you can't just let your friends borrow your game anymore and be like, hey man, play this game, I love this game, you should try it. They're going to have to pay a fee to play that game. And that's absolutely ridiculous. And now, to play games, you have to install them to your Xbox. It's no longer just be, uh, let's put a disc in and play this game. It's put a disc in, wait five hours to install it, and then it's yours, along with an extra fee. See, now, PS3 does that sometimes. You have to put the game in and you have to install so much for it. But, you know, see, just hearing Xbox has to do it now, kind of... And also, the, the DS3 probably came... Most PS3s came with a bigger hard drive. With my Xbox, I was like, ah, I'll get the one that's kind of in the middle, kind of near the low side. I'll be fine. What, what am I going to put on there? I'm already almost filled up on it just by installing games to make them run faster. So if I had to install every single game I've played that I want to play all the time... I would have been out of space like three years ago. Like, they're like, okay, the first Xboxes that come out, they're going to have 500 gigs on it. And I was like, that sounds like a lot, but knowing me, I play a lot of games. Yeah. So I'm going to have that filled up, like, pretty quick, like, in the next, like, a year or two. So I'm like, it, like, I'm going to probably download games. I'm going to get games, and I'm like, I don't want to, like, have to delete a game that I might come back to later. It's it just, it's stupid. Now, these are a whole bunch of basic negatives that we've been talking about, but I get what they're going for. I really do. I understand that they want to be sleek and new, 
and they want to make it so that your Xbox is like the only thing that you're going to have to use other than, you know, now you have to use a Blu ray, a separate Blu ray player. Yeah. Wow. Blu ray player. Actually, it's a Blu ray player itself. Now it is, but now you'd, you'd have to do it. So they tried to put it all together so you wouldn't have to leave your Xbox, sit at home, and get fat all day. So they basically want to make an all in one thing to make it cool so you can just be like, Xbox! I'll watch TV! And then bam, TV. Instead of having to switch between a whole bunch of things. I get it. I understand. I also understand that their whole DMR, DRM, one of those, is that, is that it's their policy that they're going for. They don't, they are trying to just cut back on piracy and everything, which I get it. Okay, good for you, bad for us. You take the hit, and we're just going to keep playing. Um, I understand that that's what they want to do, but however, it's not really helping the players out. And then, you know, them just promoting TV just wants them to be like, hey man, TV. There's new TV. You can watch TV on your Xbox. Isn't that cool? When they were showing that off, one thing I got like, like that I thought was cool, when they were like, oh, you're playing a game and you want to just <clears throat> stop and watch TV, you just go like, all right, Xbox, I want to watch TV, and it goes like, like split second, goes right to your yeah, TV. Yeah, it's a very good transition. So that, was, that was good. That's uh, a cool thing about it, but like... And then if you, when you go right back to your game, it'll be right where you left off. And no idea. Great transition. Everything looked good. Just... All of these other negatives that we listed have just completely uh, just screwed over everything that was good about it. Nothing else is good anymore to me about it. I mean, it, it seemed cool. All the ideas were there. They had the right thought, but just they, they did not deliver how they should have. All right. Even if they show off some really good games at E3, I'm probably still not going to get it. Like I will, I will be abandoning... My Gears of War. However, I I just cannot see a reason after Judgment, after Xbox One, that there it would be worth it. <sighs> goodbye Halo. Goodbye Gears. It just seems like they don't care. They, they have they have they have fallen. They have fallen. <sighs> well, I believe we'll wrap that up for today. That is your summary of the Xbox One reveal, which I'm kind of biased. Yeah. However, those are the facts. We got them straight. Also, a final note, the current placeholder price for those Xboxes on IGN is listed as $900 on pre-order and $100 for the con another controller. Are you serious? That is what was currently listed when I checked it yesterday. <sighs> no, I can't do that now. Um, but this is our opinions, by the way. This like, is opinionated. Um, you know. This is how we see it. We're gamers, and we don't like what we're seeing. You might like it. That's fine. You can go get it. I would not blame anybody for getting the Xbox One with all of the features that they have said, everything that they're going to do. Uh, it just doesn't appeal to us. I have a cable box and a laptop. I'm fine. I don't need all of this. So, yeah, but again, we're not saying that everyone shouldn't get an Xbox One, we're just saying we're probably not going to get it because it doesn't look gamer-orientated. Exactly. But again, thank you for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, tell your friends, family, we got the office about us, and yeah, you guys have a great day.